there are multiple ways to track the conversions of your campaign. The automated way is to use pixels or pushback URLs to automatically alert the software that a conversion has occurred. So this is how you'd get that done. In step eight, you'd grab your pixel. And there are multiple kinds of pixels here. We've got the simple pixel, which is an image, which you see right here, or a URL for postbacks. And in some networks, the postbacks are called um, server-to-server -server pixels. But this is basically it. If you've got something that needs server-to-server -server, um, URLs, this is what you give to the network. And um, this is usually done on a lot of mobile networks. Um, one thing to remember with the postback URL is that you've got to indicate the sub ID that converted. And it's different from every network, but this is a token that the network uses to pass into our system, the track into it too, the URL, I mean the sub ID that converted. So for example, it could be token like sub ID or some some networks may use C1 or sub ID one and then they have different ways of formatting the tokens with square brackets or curly brackets. Um, all of this will depend on the network that you're driving traffic to. So make sure that you check with them before um, creating a postback URL. If you're just using an image, all you have to do is copy the image. Um, you can also pass in a dynamic amount or you can hard code an amount for conversions and it will post it into a track into a two. And this will override whatever amount you set up on the campaign. The next kind of pixel is actually you can plug in the amount here and it will generate that for you or you could just type it in as well the next kind of pixel is the advanced pixel and this will let you track conversions of multiple offers so let's say that you're running a landing page and you've got two offers on there you want to track the conversions of both of those offers you'd use an advanced pixel so you'd pick your offer and then grab the pixel for it. And you'll notice that the difference in this URL is that there's a CID, which is short for campaign ID, and that lets the system know which campaign converted. So for every offer that's on your landing page, you create a unique pixel and place that inside the software, um, inside your network. And so this is the postback URL for that and you can create secure or non-secure links and that will depend on the offer that you're promoting. And then finally we have the universal smart pixel and this pixel will let you um, fire multiple um, third-party pixels on conversion. Notice that this is an iframe and some networks may not support iframe pixels, but the only way that the universal smart pixel will work is by using the iframe format. And so you grab that and put that in the network backend, and when a conversion happens, it will post, um, it will fire other pixels for you as well. And if you remember in the previous videos, when we set up the traffic source, plenty of fish here, we put in a pixel code. And so this is a pixel that will be fired.